Welcome, this is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 1 practice test 2, question number 46. The question says, the download time of seven files is shown in the table below, and it gives you the file size in kilobytes, and then the time taken in seconds. I don't know how long ago this was, but like, if you're downloading 880 kilobytes is the biggest file that you have. It's been some time since this question was made, but anyway. Um, based on the data given in the table, it's not a video, let's say that much. Based on the data, give, uh, data given in the table, which is a reasonable estimate of the download time of 600 kilobyte file. Now, what we're going to end up doing is using uh, linear regression. I'm going to take the data in a list and I'm going to compare them. Um, to save myself possible effort, or to save yourself, I'm going to have to go through it because I'm trying to show you how to do the problem, but you don't have to bother with it. Look at the answer choices and see if you can come up with what is a reasonable estimate. So 600k would be somewhere between here and here. It's much closer to the 715, and this color is just awful, so I'm going to try to switch colors out. That's better. Um, so it's somewhere between here and here. It's probably much closer to 715 than anything else. And as you can see, you get the general idea that things are going up in sort of a linear fashion. It goes down. Uh, it looks like it goes down here, but it really doesn't because they flip the file sizes on you. Tricky. Um, but the reality is it's probably close to whatever this number is. So if I look at my uh, information or my choices, it's probably going to be C. It couldn't be 17. It wouldn't make any sense because 600 is quite a bit lower than 715. It's probably not 12 because that's barely above the 348. So I'm going to say it's most likely C. It actually is C, but, you know, whatever. So that's one way that you can save yourself some time, make some educated guesses, and make the test last a little bit less uh, less time for yourself because it, it's it wear you down. It's kind of long. So anyway, let's look at the linear regression, which is what they want you to do. I'm going to go in and use a list. So I went in ahead of time because I don't like spending my life working on them, and I edited a list. So I hit the stat button, sorry. Go into edit. And then you could type all your values in. You want to type your your first set of data or your x or your independent variable in the left side. The right side would be your y's or your uh, dependent variable. By the way, it's independent because the file size is what we're basing everything on. There, that file size would be there anyway. The time in seconds only relates to the file size, so that makes it the dependent variable. Anywho, I'll go in and punch them in. Now I'm going to do a linear regression. So I need to quit out of the list, otherwise it'll do some weirdness. I can go in, I'll go over to calc, and I'll go down to linear regression. It should give me a nice number once I hit enter, hit it again. It tells me that when y is equal to ax plus b, the a is about 0.02, and the b is about 3. So I'll do y is equal to 0.02x plus 3.1, something in that general vicinity. Now I'm just going to plug in the information. I remembered that the file size was 600 kilobytes, so I'm going to go ahead and type into my calculator. I'm going to try to. Point. I hit them twice. I don't know why I felt like I needed to bother with that. Uh, point oh 0.02 times 600, because the X is what we're plugging in, plus 3.1. One and I hit enter here, and it gives me 15.1, which is pretty close to 15, which is exactly the answer we suggested it probably was looking at the problem earlier. So I can say with reasonable confidence that the answer is C, and once you look up the answers because it's a practice test, you'll find out that it is. So that's it. If you want to do the linear regression, that's fine. Just make sure that you get the information and plug in the right part, and a lot of them you can just visually determine what it is based on how it looks. So good luck.